Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is an update to my uh, Mad Science posting I did on Project Starshot. Where they say they want some of these micro spacecraft to Alpha Centauri. For what? I don't know. I, I haven't figured this out. I mean, they can't communicate back to the Earth. They can't come back. So what the point? What is the point here? I'm trying to figure out what they're doing. At any rate, sustainable nano spacecraft explored by researchers. Nano spacecraft such as chipset, which consists of solar cells and functional blocks and printed circuit board, could would face a high risk of damage from radiation and aging issues on a flight into deep space. Especially most of Uh, I lost track of it. Most functional blocks such as microcontroller memories, sensors, and communication systems are semiconductor-based chips. So they're talking about self-healing chips, which heal after radiation damage can have an impact on interstellar spacecraft, according to reports. News involves scientists at NASA and the Korean Institute of Science and Technology are cased. They have been developing new technologies in the interstellar realm. Breakthrough was announced earlier this week in the International Electronic uh, Electron Devices meeting in San Francisco. IEEE Spectrum said is working with Kane's NASA was pioneering development of tiny spacecraft made from a single silicon chip that would could slash interstellar a exploration times. I'm going to ask this again. Does somebody care to explain to me how this works? I just want to know. I, I mean, what is the point? They can't come back. There'd be no way to come back. They don't carry any fuel. And once they're out beyond the orbit of Mars, they won't have any power because solar cells are useless. Certainly solar cells would be useless in interstellar space. Inverse described this break, breakthrough as a transistor for silicon chips that can heal itself after radiation damage. Neil Patel in Inverse referred to ambitions to create chip-sized spacecraft that could be shot off into space at ultra-high speeds and reach neighboring star systems within a generation's time. Patel said that of five interstellar probes, Voyager 1, 2, Pioneer 10, 11, and New Horizons, only Voyager 1 made it to interstellar space. Making it is not easy, Patel wrote, deep space is riddled with intense pulse of radiation emanating from other stars and planets, as well as rapid swings in temperature. Now, how can that have rapid swings in temperature if you're out in deep space? I'm not getting that either. Interestingly, in their work, a single gate repairs transistors through healing. IEEE spectrum for an ordinary silicone chip 20 years in space is too long bombarded by radiation of very high energy in part also said researchers idea involved letting devices suffer damage but then add an extra contact to the transistors using this contact could heal the devices with he heating what heating they won't have any heat until they get to Alpha Centauri. Uh, the research team points to experiments that show radiation 
damaged flash memory can be recovered up to 10,000 times through heating and DRAM can be recovered almost a million times. This is critical for an interstellar mission that can span several decades. So, the only thing I can figure is they intend to send these things to Alpha Centauri as some kind of a vanguard look place over. They must think that there's something there as Alpha Centauri. It's the only thing I can figure. They're going to send these things there to gather intel before we actually go there. Which implies that they have a drive in mind that will get us there in a short period of time. Possibly even uh, uh, some type of warp drive perhaps. That's what they've been talking about. So I'm thinking with all this focus on Alpha Centauri, I'm thinking somebody knows something. I wouldn't know what. Other than I can speculate, perhaps they are aware that a planet or two is habit inhabited there, or inhabitable, or whatever. I don't know. And I'm going to add one thing before I go. It's very going to be very difficult to find a planet that's inhabitable by our race. Why? Well, uh, you take a look at the Earth, we have two main gases. One is nitrogen, the other is oxygen. Now, you you need the proper mixture of oxygen or nitrogen, or you'd need some kind of a ha habitat or whatever. But here's the point. There's no other gases other than nitrogen that would mix well with oxygen to form an atmosphere that would be breathable by us. There's certainly no other atomic gases that, that could uh, be used for this. I've looked it up. Uh, nothing else will work. So, I'm thinking that they know something we don't. That's, they've probably contacted a civilization there and are uh, thinking about sp sending spacecraft there for some reason. Really, if we uh, have contacted the civilization there, why aren't we sending radio signals instead? I don't know. I'm thinking this project isn't going to go away. This is very, very odd. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.